Now, before I just dive right in uh, to everything BGP in a moment, uh, I was Googling something. I, I don't even remember what it was uh, just just a moment ago before I was getting here. And um, sure enough, one of the top hits that, that came across was uh, packetlife.net. Um, and this, this site, i got to show it to you. Uh, this site is actually a guy named Jeremy. There's a theme here. The guy who runs GNS3 is named Jeremy. This guy's named Jeremy. I'm Jeremy. Maybe just network people. Uh, our uh, Jeremy's out there, but uh, so so anyway, this is. Let me hang on. Let me pull up pull up his profile. Jeremy Stretch, um, and look at this, so young. And he and he has a uh, a blog called PacketLife.net where he just puts amazingly cool stuff. And it's it's not just like hey, here's a here's a cool link. Like for instance, he he wrote this thing on Visio connector tips, which that's that's actually what I was I was googling. That that was it. Visio came back to haunt me once again with its little connectors that are like, and it just totally messes up your network diagram. And so I Googled, you know, how do you kill the Visio connectors? And I came across this, and I'm like, this is exactly what I needed. Uh, it's somebody who, who went through the pain, thank you, Jeremy, for going through the pain, uh, of figuring out how all the connectors work in, in Visio and saying, here's the best way to optimize them for uh, for network diagrams. And so... so I, the reason I bring this up is this is not, not the first time I've landed on Jeremy's site. Uh, he actually uh, runs a, I don't even know where, lab, there it is. Uh, I'm like, where's the lab? There it is. Uh, he runs a little lab uh, where you can schedule time. It's, it's free where he has uh, some Cisco ASAs running, some 2811s. Look at, look at this stuff. This is not, this is not cheap stuff. This, you know, my, if, I, if I were to make a lab available to you, I'd be like, uh, I got your standard 2501 running in the garage. Sometimes, but he—I mean, he—he he creates just some some amazing uh, equipment here that he just leases out for free. Um, and I think now now correct me if I'm wrong, Jeremy. Uh, not not that you really can right now, but um, I think this is all stuff that either he has acquired himself or ended up getting donated. Meaning, once his blog started gaining some traction and more and more people come to it, you can he can go to a vendor and say, hey, I've got a thousand people at my site asking for your equipment uh, to try it out. Do you think you could give me some not-for-resale equipment that I could make available, which is pretty awesome. Um, but th the reason I'm bringing this up, and it's not not just about you know, and this is kind of cool too. I didn't know that was available. Where you can uh, you can upload your Wireshark captures to the cloud for analysis from like a cell phone and all that. But in interesting enough. Um, but uh, the reason I put this up here is one of the most common questions I get from people um, that you know I, I teach a lot of students is how do I get started? Maybe I don't have any any experience. I'm just just got my CCNA. What do I do now or where do I go? Um, well. That's a hard a hard question for me to answer because you know really it's kind of like well you just got to start where most people do most of the time which is start a job really start shining and and they're, they're kind of like wow he knows network stuff let's give him a try at it oh look at that and you know you just kind of it just kind of happens there's no real best way to immediately get in every company but I was just thinking what a great way I mean this guy let's bring up our 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 theme guy for the day Jeremy Stretch. Uh, 1985, so that would make make him what? Uh, late 20s, mid 20s. Uh, this guy can <laughs> now again. He's probably correct me if I'm wrong, but he can probably name his ticket at at any site that he uh, any place he goes to. Just because I mean, this right here is a resume in itself. If let me say this, I I now run a company. It has multiple employees. If I were interviewing a guy and I'm like, so what do you know? What have you done? And he's like, oh, check out my blog when you have a sec. You know, maybe when the interview's over, uh, go check out packetlife.net. I would come to something like this and I'd be like, this is amazing because it tells me it's not 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 like I'm like wow wow he put a lot of time into this it's more of like this guy really loves what he does like I look at this and I'm like oh you know like every single post I'm like oh oh I didn't know that wow that's interesting you know so so anyway I'm just I'm just thinking that you know what what a great way just as you're studying as you like as you're going through this series start making notes uh, create a little blog for yourself that's actually how my blog started uh, as I started creating little notes for myself when I would uh, configure a router or something I'm like oh here's a handy SSL VPN config for the future that ends up in a Google search result and before long now the blog you know, gets thousands and thousands of hits every single month so so there, what a what a you know using using the power of the internet. What a great way. So anyway, sidebar aside.